interesting weather. Now, today, Premier of um, the Premier of Mpumalanga, David Mabuza, will officially open the Steve Schwert boarding school in Soma Pepper Village, just outside Middleburg. We're crossing once again to our reporter who's keeping an eye for us on the stories, Bongile Mkanimpole, and it's over to you, Bongile. <laughs> Uh, good morning once again, Palisa. We're coming live from Soma Pepa village just outside of Middleburg in the area of Steve Chwete municipality where the Mpumalanga government is opening one of its biggest boarding schools out of five that have been built uh, recently. Uh, the boarding school houses six farm schools that were shut down earlier this year. The pupils have started learning at the school at the beginning of this term. But to tell us more about the school, its name, and what uh, challenges or changes will be made in terms of preserving the legacy of Steve Chwete within the school and the municipality is the executive mayor of the municipality, Mr. Masina. Mr. Masina, good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Just uh, briefly tell us your role in, pre in preserving the legacy and taking care of the school. Thank you so much. As you know that uh, the municipality is named after this struggle icon, uh, Comrade Steve and also this boarding school is named after him so it preserves his legacy as an activist as a struggle icon we are quite happy but most importantly we want uh, everything to live up to his name uh, this school and uh, being uh, the municipality we have a very good partnership with the department of education to such an extent that uh, we are probably the only municipality in the country that uh, was able to put together all stakeholders and have education summit. So we want to make our contribution to make education everybody's business and we're succeeding. That is why we're excited. Oh, thank you, Mayor. We also have pupils from other boarding schools that have recently been built. Just tell us, ma'am, how is the feeling? How is it to be in a boarding school? Well, the feeling is overwhelming, it's completely breathtaking, like it's great being there. That is the only place where we are safe. Another pupil, tell us how long does it take you now to get ready to, to be in class compared to from when you were at home? Not even uh, a, 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 a minute to get to school. Oh, what I can say, you no, know, it is a okay, Kenny. We are very aware of the role that you must play to turn our dreams into reality. We also know that making one dream come true require a commitment, skills and passion for many. Yeah. Your message to the pupils of this new boarding school, since you are already at a boarding school, your message in terms of taking care of the school? <clears throat> your message of this school is to, is to upgrade the, 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 the background of poor people. Um, there you have it. Those are pupils from a nearby boarding school that was also recently built. They are here to give support to the pupils that have started learning here at the beginning of this term. Now we understand the school was started build, was started being built last year, August, and it was finished before time because the set time was 12 uh, months a year, but it was finished in, in eight months. And now the school cost the, the, the department just over uh, 70 uh, million rands. And it's back to you in studio. All right, thank you very much to our reporter, De Spongi Lemkanimpolini, for that update on the opening of the state of the art school, which will cost 377 million rand. And it actually opened its doors for the first time on July the 18th.